In today's box of a story, we are going to travel back 21 years to May 4th, 2001, when Dwayne Johnson The Rock was introduced into the world of movies with The Mummy Returns. So welcome to Jack of All Movies and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, click the subscribe button now. The Mummy Returns had a budget of $98 million and by applying the general rule of thumb, The Mummy Returns needed $245 million to break even. The film opened up at number one spot with no competition with $68.1 million. At that time, that was the second highest opening weekend of all time only behind the lost world Jurassic Park. In its second weekend, The Mummy Returns retained the number one spot by dropping just 50.5% by earning $33.7 million. The film finished its domestic run with $233 million, maintaining a domestic multiplier of 3.42. Overseas total was $202 million, giving film a worldwide total of $435 million. The film also maintained a very healthy budget multiplier of 4.44 which was easily above the break-even point that is 2.5. The Mummy Returns made two major records at the box office. Number one, it is the seventh highest grossing film of 2001. Number two, it is the highest grossing Mummy film of all time even if we include all of them. The fun fact is, all of them grossed in the range of 400 to 450 million dollars. So that's all for today's box office story. What are your thoughts on The Mummy Returns? Comment below, subscribe for more and thanks for watching.